Lord Shalom to the elect of Yah Shalom. Shalom to the other men, women, and children of Yah Shalom. Who Yahweh Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy upon them. Shalom to all of you. Shema Yasha Allah Yahawa Allah Hayanawa Yahawa Ahud Baraka Tha Yahawa Baraka Tha Yahawa Shai Bahashim Rachaka Kodash Koholo Imla Abba Nawa Allah Hayanawa Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai Bahashim Racha Ha Kodash Double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring in the works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which be your brothers and a few of my the sincere sisters who subscribe to this truth. I'm your brother Malkaya, representing prophets of Pasadena, Texas Camp 77504. Lord willing, lesson is edifying. All right. So the spirit came on to me to do a lesson uh, going into this word nice, okay? And how we, you know, uh, the hopeful elect, uh, the hopeful elect, just, uh, you know, Yah Shar Allah, right? He prince power. Princes of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will make you a son of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we know that our Heavenly Father Yahweh and our, our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Masiak, is a man of war. They are warriors. And the scripture goes into how that, you know, that we are gods. We are Alahayim. We're gods, kings, rulers, judges. All right. Divine one, angels, works and special possessions of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. And when you're a god, especially a son of the Most High himself, you're not nice. All right. You're not foolish. You're not ignorant. All right, you're not uh, you're not weak. All right, we may be poor, all right, but rich in faith. Like the scripture says, I have chosen the poor of this world, but rich in faith. All right, we're not uh, we're not stupid. All right, we're not silly. All right, you know how like some girls like to be like, oh, you're such a nice guy. In other words, she's actually insulting you. She's calling you foolish. She's telling that you're ignorant. She's telling you that you're stupid. You're silly. You're foolish. All right? And these are the types of guys that we normally see our woman uh, cleaving on to right now. Nice guys. He's funny. He makes me laugh. You don't see how much uh, of, of being a nice and funny guy, a stupid nigga, is going to get you women with no hell uh, Get you far in Jacob's trouble with no hell break loose These are going to be the same Nice and funny dudes that's going to fall And break They're going to be behaving just like you women Being afraid Alright The times you're coming into You're not going to want a nice Or funny guy You're going to want an austere stern man A warrior Alright A son of the most high Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai all right, especially when she calls you babe, that's another insult. She's belittling you pretty much. She's calling you little. All right, all right. Um, let's go here very right quick. Um, oh, so lucky. Uh, all right. It says the Book of John, chapter ten, verse thirty-four. Yahweh Shai answered. Yahweh Shai answered them. Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. All right. Psalms 82 and 6. KJV. I have said, ye are gods. Right? You Israelite men. So-called black men. So-called Hispanic Latino men. So-called Native American Indian, Seminole Indian men. Israelite foreigner men. Right? You speckled birds. Ye are gods. All right. Why well, I think this video is going around how a lot of these women, uh, especially the Edomite woman, let's say the so-called white woman and the heathen woman, when they look at us, starting with with the, our brothers from the tribe of Judah, 
right? So-called blacks or so-called Negroes, African-Americans, right? The tribe of Judah, the Judites, tribe of Yehawadah, right? Um, women can sense uh, that that godly presence presence about you when they look at you they say oh it looks it looks like you know they, they will say that you so-called black brothers you judah brothers right when these women look at you they, they 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 compare you to looking like a god there's something about your personality you, you as a person it comes with value okay all right and for the so-called hispanics latinos you know women love a lot of, believe it or not, a lot of women like Hispanic or Latino brothers too, man. All right. You need to make it Indian brothers, similarly Indian brothers, right? Because we are Hebrew Israelites, the chosen nation of who Yahweh Bashem Yahushai loves. Okay. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And children is supposed to mean sons. Okay. That's why when women from the other nation look at us, even even at our very lowest state, they can still sense something different about us compared to the men of other nations. All right, even our low lowest estate, we still have. Uh, how can I explain that? Um, they can still sense about how our personality, us as a person, comes with value itself already. Just us as a person, us existence is already value behind it because we're different from other nations. All right, we are little or different variations, images of our creator, Yahweh Bashmi Oshai, different versions of, you know, being Yahweh Bashmi Oshai or you say, Midi Most Highs, okay? Um... I think the NIV actually says uh, sons, the new international version. Yeah, it says, I said, you are gods. You are all sons of the most high. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Right? Uh, you men that's on this chart right here. Okay? You men that's on this 12 tribes chart, chart of Israel, of Yah, Shar, Allah. He, Prince Power princes right which makes you sons of the most high yahweh bahashim yahweh Shai, right tribe of judah right american blacks or negroes african-americans they got the the benjamites right the so-called west indian blacks you know if you see your flag there hey based off your father's seed or if it, if it resonates resonates with your spirit hey you're hebrew is like tribe of Levi, so-called Haitians today, and Judah, Benjamin, and Levi will make up the southern kingdom with the tribe of Judah being the very head of the whole nation because that's the nation our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is from. He sprung out of the tribe of Judah. Judah, Benjamin, Levi makes up the southern kingdom, and then you have the northern kingdom starting with Ephraim, Ephraimite, so-called Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricanos, right? Or they say uh, Boricuas, are the head tribe of the Northern Kingdom. Then you got Manasseh, the uh, Cubanos, right? Cubans, tribe of Simeon, Dominicans, Dominicanos, right? Zebulon, Guatemala, to Panama, or say the, uh, the the Mayans, right? You see your flag there. Tribe of Gad, right? So-called Native American Indians, the Reubenites. The so-called Seminole Indians, and so on. Tribe of Asher, the uh, Incas, right? Then Issachar, right? Uh, Aztecs, so-called Mexicans. Then uh, Neftali, right? Argentina, or Chile, right? And so on, right? These, these, the the the, the men of these nations are literal gods, all right? Alahayim, sons of the Most High Yahweh Bashmi Okay. I'm going to go to, go to the blood of the Bible for that right quick. All right. It says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, are sons of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh um, uh, Shai. Here we go. Now, it says Elohim here, but it's Allah 
all right? So for the outline of biblical usage, you get rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. We are angels in the flesh right now, okay? We're rulers, right? We're, we're being groomed to be rulers. We're being groomed, trained to be judges, the next rulers on earth and everything that exists, being heirs of our heavenly father, Yahweh, and joint heirs of our Lord and Savior, our King, who is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Divine ones, we're not from here, right? Scripture says how that our conversation is rich in the heaven, conversation, citizenship, okay? Uh, gods with a low case Z. And the women of our nation are goddess, okay? You know, they're part of our nation too, all right? But the men is always above the woman. Okay, all right. It says God like one works or special possessions of the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right, so we men, you know, we are sons of the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that's being prepped to be the next rulers, the next judges, all right, to govern planet Earth, all right, under Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And you Israelite women are being groomed to become goddesses, wives, princesses. Okay, not queens, because queen is a heathen thing. You're just calling yourself a husky prostitute. Right? You're putting a bad name on yourself. This is how queen is spelled. It says a woman, a low-born woman, also like right, husky prostitute. So you Israelite woman that likes to give yourself the title of queen. You're calling yourself a prostitute, You're calling yourself a low, pretty much a low-born woman, all right? And our women are not that, all right? Even though we're under the curses, but our women are actually goddesses, all right? You're princesses of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You are daughters of Zion, okay? Not a whore not you know whatever other titles that you know these your, your, your favorite female celebrities has have you women walking around with man being a bad bitch a proud independent woman and all the other foolish vain titles man all right hopefully that makes sense all right now going back to you brothers right remember we're sons of the most high yahweh bashmi al shai right your gods and if you are a son of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that makes you a warrior, a son of the God of war, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 3, KJV. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is his name. Let's go to the common English Bible. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is a warrior. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is his name. So when you go to warrior, right? Let's go to warrior right there. Warrior. Alright, let's see. 1300 from the old North French warrior. I guess I pronounce it, but it says a warrior, soldier, combatant, combatant. And when you go to combatant, all right, it says a person or nation engaged in fighting during a war. And that's and we are in the spiritual warfare right now. For we wrestle not flesh and blood, but against principalities. This paraphrase of principalities goes into like, like, uh, Angels and demons, all right. Um, and then we go to the now that says fighter, all right? We are fighters, man, all right. We are fighters, we are just natural born fighters, natural born warriors, all right. Now it says fighting woman, that's that's going off, all right, because ain't no such thing as a warrior, uh, a, a warrior princess or shit like that in our nation. I know none of that Wonder Woman bullshit. Fighting man, 
Yep, trooper. Okay, so the point again was a fighter. And our Heavenly Father, he's the ultimate fighter himself. He's a man of war. He's a warrior. He's a combatant. And since it said that you are gods, all of you are children, right? Sons of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. That makes you Israelite man, you know, a fighter as well too. All right? You're very combatant. You're a warrior. All right? You're, you're not nice. All right? You're not foolish, even though... You know, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, right? But you, you sincere brothers, all right? All right? You're not, you're not that, you're not like the average men. We're literally different from all other men, even from two-thirds of our nation, man, believe it or not. All right, uh, let's see, um, let's, let's go into this word, stern, no, austere, because our power, he's an austere man, and... Being being a prince of the ultimate austere man, right? You're uh, you're different from among these other so-called men, right? You're not funny, like even though we do crack jokes here and there, you know we got some salt, we got flavor, all right? But we're austere, right? We're severe or strict in matter, attitude or appearance, all right? Some similar terms you would get is a uh, stern, right? Of a person or their net or their matter, serious and unrelenting, especially in the assertion of authority and exercise of discipline. Yeah, we're very stern men. We're stern uh, when it comes to this doctrine, when it comes to this word, this wisdom and knowledge, how we re how we represent ourselves because we are representing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, all right. We're stern. Right? We're not we're not nice guys, okay? We're stern. We're unfriendly. Right? Yes, we may be peaceful among men, but that doesn't mean we're friendly. Alright? We keep it peaceful, but we don't want to be your damn friend. Alright? So you two thirds and your other nations, only among the brotherhood, the sincere ones, those who does the will of our Heavenly Father Yahweh is my brother, my sister, my mother. Right? Yahweh should I say that, right? Um, we don't want to be friends with women, right? Like you goofy ass niggas, you like to be friends with good looking women. No, when I see a good looking Israelite woman, I'm looking at her as like, damn, she could possibly be a mother to my children. She could be my wife. That's it. I don't look at her as a friend. You goofy ass niggas do that shit, right? That's why these women don't fucking respect you. You think they do, but they don't respect your ass, man. All right, a woman really respects a a masculine man. All right, a austere, stern man. All right, all right. I don't know about you, goofy ass niggas, but when I look at a beautiful Israelite woman, even a, a heathen woman, I look at them as like, you know, you know I could possibly build a nation with her. I want to lay down with this woman. I want to, you know, exchange body fluids with her. I don't want to be no fucking friend. That's why you simple, goofy-ass niggas going to perish real soon, man, when all hell breaks loose. All right. Let's see. Um, now, like this, and mind you, it says something about appearance. Say, so we keep it simple with, with our appearance, the way how we, uh, even our lifestyle is simple. Like right here for an example, right? It says, of living conditions or a way of life, having no comforts or luxuries, harsh or aesthetic. So the way how we live, we live a very simple lifestyle, all right? You know, yes, it's okay to have some, you know, little finer things, you know, here and there, you know, some nice stuff, right? But that's not our main motive. We don't care about having, uh, you know, the, the latest, newest vehicle out here that, you know, a Mustang and these loud ass, obnoxious vehicles trying to stunt. Having a big ass house, like we ain't trying to live comfortably here, man. We ain't trying to be comfortable slaves here. We're uncomfortable, all right. We trying to get the hell up out of here. Our lifestyle is very simple. We go to work, we get our daily bread. You know, we go to the gym, we do something. You know, outside of truth to balance out. We keep it simple. And then most of the time, if we're not at work, we at camp. If we're not at camp, we're home studying, being watchmen. All right, giving y'all a warning of what the, of, of the times we coming into. We live a very simple lifestyle. 
All right. Our living conditions, our way of life is very simple. It's plain. It's simple. All right. What the world, especially these, these bendejas, would call it boring. All right. Hey, let our life be boring. All right. Having a so-called boring lifestyle is what's going to save us from all the hell and, and, and perilous times that's, that's going on outside, man. All right. And then the next bullet says having an extremely plain and simple style or appearance. We keep it simple. All right. Some some brothers, you know, you know some brothers like to, you know, dress up a little bit here and there. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but they still keep it simple. All right. Then you got some brothers who like, you know, like, you know, for myself, for an example. All right. I, I dress very plain. A plain T-shirt with no logos, no letters on it. Just a plain T-shirt. Uh, neutral colors like for example like gray cut like a gray gray dark navy blue shirts black shirts dark green shirts I, I wear dark neutral color shirts no labels no nothing on it and i usually wear sweatpants with with some with some long duns underneath it I, I pretty much dress like this uh i think i got the picture still uh like you know some of my favorite anime characters you know i got a thing for anime i like watching anime uh no uh I was just looking up on the internet, right? You know, some of us brothers, we, we have a plain, simple lifestyle. You know, even the way how we dress, and we ain't trying to dress up for nobody, trying to look good for nobody. You know, we still take care of ourselves, you know, all right? But we're not out here looking like bums, but we're not out here look, looking like we getting ready for Easter or for prom and shit. Um, like, for example, uh, one of my favorite anime characters from One Punch Man, Gaoru, all right? The way, how he, the way how he dresses is very, very plain, simple. Something like this. A plain t-shirt, you know, like some sweatpant likes, and like some running shoes for the for the summer so it's hot out here. During the winter, you know, some, some boots, and something similar just like this. I, I keep it shit simple. Or oh, this guy, uh, Toji, from um, uh, uh, Jujutsu Kaiji, some, something like that, just paraphrasing. Uh, I just think I hear for an example, like this dude right here, he dressed simple. Right, he dressed simple. He just got on a, a plain t-shirt and some sweats, man. All right, austere, stern, plain. All right, he's a badass warrior, man. A badass warrior. All right, you can look at him as like a speckled bird, an Israelite, a speckled bird who is uh who is you know a son of the Most High Yahweh man. All right, I keep it simple, man. All right, we ain't trying to dress up and look all nice, like, man. <laughs> all right, uh, let me get another scripture right quick. It says, uh, gird up thy loins like a man, you know, pretty much don't reclaim your fucking manhood, grab your fucking nutsack, okay? Gird up thy uh, loins. Oh, I said lions, uh, oops, my bad, like a man, uh. All right, the book of Joel, chapter 38, verse 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man. So, you no, know, man up. Man the fuck up. All right, reclaim your manhood. Stop letting these women, you know, rule over you. Calling all the shots. If she can't get down with the program, hey, let her ass be, man. When all hell break loose, they're going to wish that they would have took heed. All right, to, to your authority. All right. That you have over these women. For I will demand of thee. Right? How about me outside demands of us? This is a, he demands it that we Israelite men, princes of the most high, how about me outside, we man the fuck up. Alright? And just deal with the affliction, deal with the pain. Alright? Alright. Alright. Uh gird up gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee. And answer thou me. Alright. And another one says, bring it to remembrance. Uh hmm, uh remember the old ways, which is the good ways, something like that. Just paraphrasing. Um Okay. The book of Jeremiah, chapter six, verse sixteen. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask of the old paths where is the good way 
and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. All right, so, you know, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, the ancient ways. For an example, we were austere men back then. All right, we didn't let women get away with shit. All right, if she couldn't get down with the fucking program, then we kept fucking moving, man. All right, yes, we deal with women according to knowledge here and there. All right, but we're not giving our strength to women. All right, we're not nice guys. We're austere men. Okay. All right, we live a simple, plain lifestyle like our forefather Jacob. We say that Jacob uh, dwelleth in a tent, right? Uh, uh, he was a plain man, so like he was a plain man that dwelt in tents. Very simple. Why do you think most of us Jakes today, we just like to be at the crib chilling most of the time? If we're not in a video game, we're probably watching a movie. You know, we're doing something at the crib. We're just chilling in the crib, probably in the balcony. We at the tent, <laughs> just like our forefather Jacob, plain man, just keeping it simple, chilling at the crib, staying out of trouble, staying out of harm's way. All right. Where's the good way and acts therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Yeah, you know, Yahweh Shai is the one that brings rest, you no, know, some peace of mind to us, even though we're catching afflictions, we're going through it. But Yahweh Shai is the one that's bringing peace to us and giving us that, that 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 spirit to endure, and and giving us something called hope, and that brings peace of mind. All right, because we have hope for a city to come, a new heavens, a new earth, man. All right, but two thirds of our nation, for an example, but they said we will not walk therein. Two thirds don't want to, you know, uh, most of our men don't want to gird up their loins like a man, they don't want to be austere and stern, they want to be funny, they want girls to like them, and all those other foolish bullshit. All right, they want to be sodomites, fruit loops, all right, transformers, street culture niggas, dreadlocks niggas. Alright. They want to be everything and any everything other than being Allah, being gods, being sons of the most high Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Alright. So you you sincere brothers that that's you know probably new comes to this truth and you're sincere. You're not a you're not a street culture nigga. Alright? Alright. You're a god with low case Z being groomed up to be the next rulers and kings on earth, man. All right, to rule in a kingdom that's going to last forever. We're never going to fall again. All right. So again, all right, we are warriors, man. All right, we are sons of the very God of War, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, which makes us austere, stern, unfriendly. We're peaceful, all right, but we ain't trying to be friends with just anybody, man. Especially a two-third nigga, especially these dreadlocks niggas. We ain't trying to be friends with a, a, a good-looking woman, all right? When we look at an Israelite woman, we look at her as like, yo, she could be my wife. I could build a nation with her, all right? We ain't trying to, we ain't looking at her as like, oh, she cool. She cool people. She's like my sister. She's like my brother. Nah, man. All right? Get that friendly, goofy shit the fuck out of here, man. All right? And man the fuck up, all right? I've out the lesson. Was that a fine? I'm going to close out by giving much to do, all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechacha, Kodas, Koholo Imla, Abanawa, Alahayanawa, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechacha, Kodas, double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring and works, and Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa. Which would be your brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who subscribe to this truth. DTA, Abad, Baba, Soon, Kwam Yashad, Shalom, Israel.